I was a dishwasher for a while, and uh, maybe about seven, eight years ago, and I uh, just seemed like something I enjoyed. And I always liked uh, cooking at home, cooking with my mother. I had a grandmother who was actually a, a Red Seal chef, and uh, I just seemed something not just practical. I enjoyed it. It was something very creative, and I always learned. Like, Today, every day, I, I learn all the time. It is a challenging job. It, it, it really is. Uh, you learn all the time. Co constantly uh, raising the bar, challenging myself, being challenged by my chefs. Uh, I'm Bichu Cha. I'm a certified uh, chef. When I'm young, I always have a passion about cooking, so the passion from my mom too. So that's why I want to be a, be a chef. What I learned already is so I can, like, you know, I can pass my talent eh, to the apprentice. So that is my most, you know, like, passion about, you know, up to become a chef. Eh? Hi, my name is Sean Doucette. I'm executive chef for Delta Halifax and Delta Barrington, and I'm a certified executive chef with the American Culinary Federation. I love my job. The instant gratification you get from guests working with food is just absolutely amazing. And I think most culinarians that are in this industry are in it for a couple of reasons. Uh, one of them is being able to see that gratification from uh, customers and guests, and the other one is for the creativity side. Being able to work with apprentices, um, you're, you're being able to pass along information that you've gathered over the years. As a chef, for years you work with other chefs as you're being an apprentice and you're growing up in the industry and you learn all sorts of tricks. And being able to pass that along to younger uh, staff is really what this is all about. Hi, I'm Annalise Chiliano and I'm a pastry chef. Um, going through the apprenticeship program, I picked uh, chefs that I knew were at the top of their game at that time and I worked for free and I worked um, extra longer days and just kind of ha had my head down and was very focused at that time. Becoming a chef or a pastry chef um, at this time, you need to really be passionate about what you're doing. You need to be focused because it's hard and it's long hours and it's you know holidays, weekends, nights. It's all the things that people don't want to work but it's very rewarding. So when you see somebody eating your dessert or eating your uh, hors d'oeuvres or their main course and they're just kind of like the eyes roll back in their head, it's instant gratification and you just, it, it all becomes worth it at that time. And being creative is the funnest part of it all because you really get to show who you are and express yourself through food.